Okay, so welcome to Long Live the Queen. What we need to do in this game is basically just keep the queen alive. Well, the princess alive so that she can become the queen. Which I think might prove to be a little difficult. But we, we're going to make it. We're going to make her the best queen that we can make her. And that's going to be a pretty good queen. So let's play. Justin, King Dowager, Duke of Calaris. We're almost home. Your room is just the way you left it. I know it's hard to leave your school and all your friends, but I've arranged the best possible tutors for every subject. You'll have to work hard this year to prepare yourself before your 15th birthday, but I know you can do it. You'll learn quickly and you'll make a wonderful queen. It's what your mother would have wanted. This is not what my mother would have wanted. She wouldn't have wanted to die and leave me. No, she wouldn't. But sometimes bad things happen. We have to pick up and carry on. All of Nova depends on us. On you. I will be here to guide you until your coronation, but the decisions you make are ultimately up to you. Come, your maids are waiting. Welcome to Long Live the Queen. If this is your first time playing, you should read the brief introduction to how the game works. Fine. You will be controlling Elodie, the most almost queen of Nova. As she tries to prepare for her coronation. To do that, she needs to take classes every week in order to raise her skills. The skills she learns will provide different choices in the ongoing plot. Learning the right skills can mean the difference between life and death, which is ultimately what it's about. You also need to keep an eye on Elodie's mood. With her mother's tragic death, Elodie is not very happy right now. The mood button will take you to the emotion screen for more details. Right, Elodie is. Let me just analyze Elodie, right? It's Elodie. Her name is Elodie. It's pretty enough. Elodie is feeling both afraid, yes, and depressed. But her strongest emotion is depressed, yes, which is like very should be. If she becomes more cheerful to cancel out the depression, her strongest emotion would be afraid, yes. Elodie's current mood affects her ability to learn. It will give her a bonus to some skills and a penalty to others. Let's take a look at the skills screen now. Skills are broken into four main categories. Social, physical, intellectual and mystical. Inside these categories are skill sets. Groups of three related skills. You start with zero in all skills, of course. Every week, Elodie can study two skills. Normally, she earns two points in a skill for every weekday that she studies. So if she studies history, she will earn two points for five days, ten points. Fine. Right? Because Elodie is depressed, she has a minus or negative two penalty to the social skill set conservation. Oh, I see. So, okay. She doesn't feel like talking to people right now. If she studies conversation... Conversation. Did I say conservation? That's weird. Conversation. She will earn two minus two points per day, and that is zero points, so there is a no point in studying that. However, she has a plus one bonus to the expression skill set. If she studies one of the expression skills, she will earn two plus one points per day, which means three points a day. Fifteen points for the week. Oh, because you times... Wait, I don't know. Okay, if you study a skill you have a penalty for, you could be wasting your time and not learning anything. If you study a skill you have bonuses for, you will learn much faster than usual. So basically that's going to be our strategy, because that kind of might indicate what we should be learning. It just makes sense. 
All of these bonuses and penalties will change when Elodie's mood changes. She can also gain bonuses to skills by studying related skills. Check the skills screen every week to see your current bonuses. Once you know your mood skills, bonuses and penalties are... You are ready to choose your classes for the week. Brilliant. No classes. Here. The classes screen breaks down skill set by category for your morning and evening classes. Oh my word, so much class. When you select a skill set, the three options in that set will appear on the right side of the screen. Fine. Choose a class option for both morning and evening classes, then click the done button, which will appear in the lower right corner. So I'll go like blah blah. Must I actually do that? Is that like actual thing? No. As you play through the story, you will sometimes see feedback bubbles appearing over the text. These will tell you what's happening behind the scenes. Bubbles like these will show you when Elodie's mood is being altered by events. Bubbles like these, oh I see these, <laughs> will show you when the story is changing based on what skills Elodie has learned so far. If the test fails, there is some option being missed because she doesn't have enough points in that skill yet. The feedback is very helpful in figuring out different options to try, but if you don't want to see it, you can turn the bubbles off in the preferences menu. Now ready to become the queen, or a queen. Now ready to become a queen. Indeed we are. All right, little Elodie. So let's check out your outfits. You can change, oh, okay, you can't change. Boarding school uniform, it's fine, beautiful. It's pink and I like pink. So your mood is still that. Okay, skills. Ugh, so much numbers. World Demeanor minus minus plus plus. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be studying some expression will be the best use of our time for the bonus and animal handling. So then we're going to go class expression and animal handling. Let's just try to remember that. Expression and animal handling. Classes. Expression Where's animal handling? Oh, there. Animal handling. Okay. Expression, you can study decoration, drawing, painting, arranging flowers, dressing well, instrument, skill with musical instruments. I don't really see how that will save our lives. The skill of singing beautifully. Oh, will any of these save our life? Drawing, painting, arranging flowers, and maybe she'll learn something about poisonous flowers and as a queen she really should dress well so decoration and animal handling horses riding grooming dogs training and hunting and falcons training and hunting I think that dogs dogs will help us you know dogs are nice I, I like dogs they're gonna they're like good companions she needs a friend in a companion right now I can actually live in her bedroom and stuff so and it will save her life because dogs are so loyal okay done week one morning you discuss the nature of beauty looking around at landscapes objects and people and comparing their aesthetic elements okay You visit the kennels and learn about different breeds of dogs. Fine. Really? I don't get a dog? Not yet. Elodie. What's all that noise outside? Who's here? Oh, it's my cousins and my aunt and uncle. Darling, we were so terribly sorry to hear about your mother, Fidelia. Thank you. You look well, niece. Hi, Lodi. Hi, Luddy. I haven't seen you in ages. Will you be staying long? Yep. Mummy said we'd be here all month. So she's a bit, oh my word, the eyes are a bit like insane. But I guess they're like a happy insane. They're still a scary, creepy insane, but they're alright. They're safe enough. Yay, plus one cheerful. Maybe we'll have some time to talk later. That would be nice. Now that you've finished studying, what will you do? do for the weekend I want to go talk oh, she should talk to her dad I guess considering her mother just died 
but she was so happy to see her cousin. So where's her cousin? Ah, there's no need to go to the tomb. Nice press. Walk in the gardens, lonely and cheerful. So wait, plus one lonely means she gets lonely or like decreases lonely. She probably gets lonely. We don't want that. Toys. I don't know. Maybe not. Sneak out. No. Dungeons. Visit Charlotte, Lady Myra. Xander's just arrived. I want to go visit Lottie. Okay, let's go here because I guess that was one of the people who just arrived. Yay! Oh, Charlotte! Oh, then who's Lottie? Okay, well, Charlotte's who we wanted to see. I love this room. It's so much bigger than mine back home. That's <laughs> because I live in a castle. So does she probably. I don't even know. You should visit more often. It's awful that I'm the only time I get to see you is something like this. I know. Your brother and sister are still too young, but why haven't you come to school? Oh, wrong tone for that completely. I know your brother and sister are still too young, but why haven't you come to school? My mother worries about me. She doesn't think anywhere but home is safe. I understand, so do I. I'm probably not going to be allowed to leave this castle until my birthday. That's one cheerful. But at least we can have fun together here. 